A somewhat forgotten classic sees the excellence of execution using every last trick in his repertoire to pull out the victory over Roddy Piper. And WrestleMania 8 sees a rare pinfall loss for Hot Rod, but an even rarer display of professionalism from him makes the moment all the more memorable. Up next on this WrestleMania train down memory lane, we go to WrestleMania 10 in New York City and the first ladder match to ever take place at WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels captured his first Intercontinental Championship with a big win over the British Bulldog on Saturday night's main event in the fall of 1992. But in the fall of 1993, Michaels would be stripped of the championship due to inactivity. As the heartbreak kid watched from the sidelines, Razor Ramon would capture the vacant championship. At the 1993 Survivor Series, Michaels would announce that he was back and that he only had one mission, to humiliate Razor Ramon, who he considered to be a fake champion. Having never been defeated in the ring, HBK still believed he was the rightful Intercontinental Champion. There is only one undisputed Intercontinental Champion, and it is the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Never one to back down from a fight, Ramon was more than ready to face Michaels anytime, any place. But Shawn wanted to play games with the bad guy, interfering in his matches and even performing Ramon's vaunted razor's edge finisher to taunt him. Shawn was also very open about relying on his seven foot monster of a bodyguard, Diesel, to help him get through any tough situations. WWE officials forced with figuring out how to decide who the true Intercontinental Champion was, came to a decision. Both championship titles would be suspended above the ring in a ladder match. The winner would be the first superstar able to incapacitate their opponent long enough to climb the ladder, grab both championships, and finally settle the issue once and for all. This matchup would see both men use everything they could to stop the other, including the ladder, repeatedly. It was used as a battering ram, even as a perch from which to dive for a huge splash. Both Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels laid it all on the line in this epic clash, leaving everyone breathless with each new flurry of offense. So, you're gonna have to do your best to deal with not only a Mr. WrestleMania who wants his Intercontinental Championship, but also with the menacing Diesel at ringside. Stay focused, and maybe you'll be oozing enough machismo to climb that ladder of success.
looking to prove that despite never defeating Shawn Michaels for the Intercontinental Championship, he was still the real champion. Shawn Michaels had a clear game plan for this match. With no rules, he'd be able to receive assists from his bodyguard, Diesel. No disqualifications in a ladder match means it's not cheating. The second Michaels tossed Ramon to the floor, that plan was put into action with Diesel attacking the bad guy. Unfortunately for Sean, the official decided that wasn't going to work. Despite Diesel's arguments, the WWE official decided to kick Big Daddy Cool out of the ringside area. Sean had talked a lot about being the real champion. And now without his seven foot backup, he was gonna have to back those words up himself. This distraction bought Ramon enough time to recover and send HBK flying with a huge right hand. Ramon floors Michaels, and now with Diesel banned from ringside, it looks like the heartbreak kid needs a new plan for the bad guy. Heading into this match, a lot of people wondered how the ladder would come into play. And it didn't take long for Razor, Ramon, and Shawn Michaels to answer that question. Razor placed the ladder on the apron to re-enter the ring, and that gave Shawn the opening he needed to launch a baseball slide dropkick that sent the ladder crashing into Ramon's ribs. Had Razor even considered that type of offense from Shawn in his preparations? Had Shawn practiced that very move? He appeared ready to strike the second the ladder was laid down. Clearly, any moment with a ladder nearby was going to be dangerous, and one would need to always be aware of their opponent's location. With his bigger, stronger opponent struggling to breathe, Michaels would be able to build his own momentum. Michaels started to realize that as long as he used the ladders to his advantage, the lack of Diesel's presence wouldn't be as detrimental as he first thought. Knowing Ramon now had a weak point, Michaels crashes that ladder right into the ribs of Ramon, and he has completely turned the tide of this match. You could see it on the faces of Razor's fans, who sat in disbelief as Sean took control. Both men had looked to hit the other with a ladder in a variety of ways, but Shawn Michaels was about to shock the crowd with a different approach to ladder-based offense. With Ramon down, Michaels would climb the ladder near the corner and come crashing down onto Ramon's already weakened ribs. Why waste all that energy swinging the ladder around when you can just climb it and jump off from great heights, right?
Michaels, thinking it was over, began to climb. Now, normally, Michaels may have gone for the cover, and he may have even won the match after such an incredible move. But with ladder matches, it's not that easy. So even with Ramon in great pain, he was able to find enough fight in him to get to his knees and topple the ladder over. Michaels could see the match starting to slip away, but instead of panicking, he'd look for an opening. Reversing a Razor Ramon attack, he'd plant the bad guy with a devastating pile driver. HBK wanted to show off one other trick, bringing the ladder with him over to the corner. Sean was in clear control here. I'd never seen anything like this before, and it's still jaw-dropping today. He didn't just climb the ladder. He'd proceed to fall with the ladder beneath him onto the downed Ramon. It was now or never for Razor Ramon as his grasp on the Intercontinental Championship appeared to be slipping.
forget to subscribe!